gonna show you how I milled this bowl using a double-sided technique with um, Kirimoto. So here I am in on shape, and I go to the Kirimoto tab and import the part. So um, one thing you'll notice is the faceting of the part here. You can see that sort of in the uh, reflection and you'll see that in the final part uh, production and if you want to reduce that you can go in here to on shape under angle and change that to something smaller like 0.025 or 0.01 um, but this is a really quick demo so we're going to ignore that for right now the first thing that we want to do is use a new feature in Kirimoto to set up registration marks in this case we're registering on the x-axis so you'll see the dot saying the drilling is enabled. We're going to set it to a quarter inch uh, in mill. Um, if I just run that real fast, you'll see that it creates these marks here. Not super useful because it's right up against the part. Um, let me undo that. And so if we change the stock offset and then rerun it, you'll see that it places the registration uh, holes in the center between the part and the outside of the stock. And the second thing we want to do is make sure the registration marks go all the way through the stock. So we use another feature, which is Z through. And so set it for five millimeters, just so you can see what happens here. If I rerun this, you'll see that it now projects through the stock into the wasteboard. Um, that's probably a little bit much. Um, in this case, this is going to create two drilling marks for us. Um, so we can pin the stock and then flip it and then mill the other side. So. What we will do is just export this as our registration, download it, um, and that'll be the first thing that we use as part of our milling job. And now we can disable that. Um, the next thing that we're doing is choose the side that we want to mill. And in this case, I think it's best to start with this milling it um, bowl upside down first because I want to take advantage of the bottom of the bowl being flat to tape it. And the reason for that is, will be obvious in a minute. Um, so I want to start by milling out all of this area <clears throat> um, after we've done the registration marks. And I'll do that with a roughing pass, um, quarter inch end mill, uh, as well as, well, um, as well as a contouring pass, but I'll just show you this first. Um, so if I just run this pass, you'll see that it goes through. We have to undo the Z through here because otherwise it's going to mill through into the wasteboard. So we have to be careful to undo that. And that'll take us down to uh, the bottom of the, the stock. Now we want this to actually still be attached to the stock in the end. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to set a Z bottom of a millimeter and then we'll put some tabs in here. Um, and so now you'll see, oops, I have to enable it. Yep, there we go. So now you'll see the tab marks here, here, and here. Um, it might actually be useful to have those tab marks align with these um, parts of the bowl. So if I change it to three, uh, you'll see they're not aligned. So rather than mess with that setting, I'm just gonna rotate the part. And now the uh, tab marks line up with the feet on the bowl. So that's great. Um, that leaves the part attached to the stock uh, for when we flip it. And then the next thing we're going to do is enable contouring, also a quarter inch end mill. And now you'll see we have the full pass of uh, the, the milling for this side of it. So uh, given that, we can now export this as uh, bowl side. Slide one, um, yes, allow that. And the next thing that we're going to do is flip the part over. So uh, keep in mind that this is attached to the top of the stock. And as soon as we flip it over and start milling the stock, it's gonna cut through those tabs. So when we flip it over, we're gonna have to tape, using double-sided tape, tape this bowl to the wasteboard. So uh, we'll also do a roughing pass here. Um, same quarter inch, same contouring. We don't need tabs for this. Um, and in fact, we don't even need to uh, have a Z bottom anymore. And it's gonna be allowed to cut all the way through to the bottom here. So run that part here. Um, we have the full cutout, it will be taped. So it will stay in place. 
Um, and we can then export this. Oops. Ignore the time on that. That's wrong. It's been fixed recently. All right. Um, so we now have the three pieces of the job for milling. And then I'll show you some pictures of how this actually um, comes together. Let's take a look here. So I've got, I uh, screwed down the waste board here, um, and then I zeroed uh, it right here on the bottom left-hand corner, which we saw from the, the CAD. Um, I often use the back side of a piece of double-sided tape as a way of ensuring that the bit is just resting against the surface without messing the part. Measure the stock. Actually, I did this before I did the, the milling operation so I could set the stock appropriately um, inside of uh, Kirimoto. Um, and this is the first pass with the face down. You'll see the registration marks here and here. Um, put down the double-sided tape and then flipped it over um, onto the dowels like this. Then screwed it back down again and then started the next pass. And so you'll see here, it was obviously a really, really rough pass. I didn't spend a lot of time making it really good looking. Um, I could have reduced the step over or things like that to make it look a lot better. But in the end, the part looked like this and I just uh, rubbed some finish on it and there you have it. Well, it turned out pretty good. Um, and all that for just a really quick sample with this part here. Um, if you have questions, please you know check in on the forums, uh, post them under the video. Um, look forward to your feedback on this video. Thanks.